Hello, my name is Brandi Hofer. I am a author, educator, mother, artist, muralist, and so much more. I am also the founder of Brandi Hofer Studios and Color Me Happy Community and Podcast. I sure do appreciate your time and I hope you enjoy this wonderful video where we give you three secrets of a professional artist. Um, in this video, you will see us creating one of our portraits um, that we uh, create on paper um, and we actually have a whole class uh, that we cover all these steps um, from start to finish how to get the perfect photo and um, because if you don't know already the secret to here's a secret your secret number one the secret to any good uh, portrait painting is the photograph if you don't have a good photograph, if it's not well lit, um, if it's grainy or anything like that, uh, it just won't make a good painting. You have to start at the base of something and and have have it good right from the get-go um, and, and that will give you the strongest painting possible. Um, so actually in our portrait class, we have a professional photographer, our beautiful friend Kristen Hickman, take you through the whole process of photography and propping, which is really cool. As we all know, props in um, photographs or uh, portraits for a painting are a really cool addition to any uh, piece of artwork or work. Um, and they can give you some creative insight or spark or more imagination to the photograph and the painting. Um, so here we are actually working on a prepped piece of paper. Um, we do these um, kind of in an abstract expressionist way, so paper stretching. Um, and you can paper stretch with all sorts of materials and mediums. And this, this process was done over a series of more than 15 years. Um, we learned pepper, pa pepper stretching, <laughs> sorry paper stretching <laughs> in uh in i i learned it in art school and i um took took what i knew from there and we we were prepping with like um just like a whole bunch of different tools and like straight up acrylic um all kind of monotone like one color so i kind of took it and made it my own um you can paper stretch with uh watercolor acrylics um and different types of pouring mediums, um, staining, you can use natural natural things like beet tea. It's a really fun process and I encourage you to explore um, what that means for you and, and it's really cool because you can play with it. In fact, the piece I'm working on here was done by my children, oddly enough, so I actually taped the paper down to our studio floor and they um, come at it with a whole bunch of different things <laughs> mixed together. I always, I always throw out, you know, what can not throw out, but I place out uh, what can be used and, and what can't be used. So um, I know because I've experimented with all these mediums that um, the outcome, what the outcome will somewhat look like. <laughs> Obviously, I don't know ever, and it's usually better than I imagine it will be. And they mix all sorts of colors that I would never mix. So I love the magic behind that creativity and the looseness and the uninhibited expression of a child it is one of the most beautiful things in the world. So it's always a beautiful start to my paintings and my process because there's just so something, so, something so light and magical about how they create, um, and I'm sure you're picking up on that as, as you examine this piece. Um, then I actually uh, map out the drawing with a technique that I use that I teach in my portrait class on brandyhofer.ca. Um, and I wanna give you another secret to um, the reason how I became uh, so strong at portraiture. It actually was a result of burnout and a lot of professional artists burn out. Uh, because we we uh, we were this huge stere we were given this huge stereotype. Um, this is a big big secret, especially coming out of art school. We were the stereotype that um, artists can only be artists and and make a living by selling art. Huge huge bomb there. It's not true. <laughs> it's not true at all. And in fact, when I let go of that stereotype, is when I started. Um, having a sustainable practice and when I say sustainable uh, I mean 
adding passive income sources and that um, didn't always mean what I thought it meant. Um, so it wasn't just selling my art. Just selling my art, I burnt out. I burnt out so hard and it wasn't fair to myself and it wasn't fair to my family at all. And I, and that actually, but that is the reason I changed everything. That's when I started setting up those sustainable things and passive income sources. So what do I mean when I say sustainable and passive? Those are, those are things like um, a, a writing a book about what you know um, and, and having it all set up and doing the work and then um, advertising a bit and or talking about it a bit on social media a bit, a lot. <laughs> a lot. I'll let you in on another secret of how many times you have to say something for people to figure out the one thing you're saying. Um, But, or another sustainable thing would be like selling your prints and um, thinking about, you know, what that looks like. Because I sold prints, but I was printing them in my print shop by hand and delivering them out by hand. Not sustainable, not passive, uh, super time consuming. And so I actually set set up um, a print shop through my website uh, so the orders just go through another print shop and um, I like the quality and you can find just as great quality in in that as well uh, without doing it yourself. Um, Not only that, when you set up a print shop, that is an investment in itself, right? So it was a lot of, that's why I want to share my secrets with you and I'll be making more of these. It's because it, it's a lot of, you know, um, uh, doing things and, and, and finding errors in my ways and learning from them and moving forward. And it took burning out. It took making so many portraits and so many custom orders. In fact, uh, 100, 130, I made 130 original pieces of art in one year. I, and, and obviously I wasn't charging enough and obviously I, I was... It, it just took a toll on myself and my mental well-being and my creative gift and and I wasn't um, honoring you know self-care or or anything like that I wasn't paying attention um, and that is when I started my community and this stuff was all a lot of work too but I was so burnt out from painting I had to take a break and I actually um, took that energy and wrote a book Um, My book is called Color Me Happy, See Your Everyday Ordinary is Extraordinary, and it's really beautiful, and I hope you check it out, but uh, what what I took away from making so many paintings was obviously my skill level went up, and and now I, I learned that I wanted to share with others, so being an educator, being an educator was was one of the most beautiful gifts in the world where I could share what I know with others. Um, what I'm sharing with you right here, I would have never revealed uh, my creative process before. And I have found that sharing it, I've gained so many friendships and relationships and, and help people connect to that beautiful magic part of themselves that I couldn't really ask for a better, a better path for myself. And of course, my path will look so much different than your path. Um, and another, another secret, I forget the last secret I was going to tell you and hopefully I revealed it. (laughs) You might remember, (laughs) but, um, the last secret was creating a creative routine and showing up every day for, for you and, um, showing up every day for your creativity, uh, no matter what that is. And it, it can be so many things. You could be super into painting avocados. My, my friend, Volta, she loves painting watermelons and pumpkins. And so whatever I'm into creatively, you'll be into something totally different. And so what I mean by showing up, that doesn't mean I show up in the studio for four hours at a time. I'm a stay-at-home parent. I have three little boys. They are eight Uh, five and three and they are busy and take up tons of my time and energy and um, so what I mean when showing up is you know taking care of yourself number one Uh, self-care self-care is you just can't take care of others if you're not taking care of yourself you you're an empty pot um, with no cups to fill so take care of yourself first and what does that look like that looks like eating well and 
uh, well-being so moving your body and that can mean like 10 minutes of walking that can mean you know a little bit of yoga in your home whatever whatever it means to you um meditation meditation and time for your mind your mind is a muscle and it needs to rest too uh, getting adequate amounts of sleep um, quiet time for your brain reading downtime fun laughing play everything in one day um, and for me of course as a creative that means showing up every day showing up every day for my creativity so every evening i make myself a cup of tea and I go downstairs into our in-home studio and I create. Sometimes that's not just painting. Um, it's writing, it's reflecting, it's setting up for the next day. It can be 10 minutes, it can be 30, it can be two hours, whatever it is and whatever fits. Sometimes I really only fit in 15 minutes to my day. I hope you found this useful and you can learn more at brandyhofer.ca. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it so much. Hi, my name is Brandi Hofer. I am a artist, author, educator, mother, muralist, and so much more. Thank you so much for your time. I sure do appreciate you being here today. If you enjoyed anything you saw or any part of our creative process, be sure to check out brandyhofer.ca where you can find our portrait classes and so many other classes, as well as our Color Me Happy podcast where you can tune in every week to see featured creatives and inspiring people from all over the globe. You can also join our Color Me Happy community where we feature members um, every week and we also are there to support and uplift one another. It's a really beautiful space and we hope you join that as well. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message anytime. I'm happy to chat. You can find me online uh, on Instagram or TikTok at Brandy Hofer Studios or you can send us a good old email and you can um, find that at brandyhofer.ca and uh, I hope you have an awesome day. The last one was the best one.